Being here brings my, my father to mind, and that's why I made my first movie, Serial Killers. And this was a man who, an elite athlete, he'd never really gained much weight. He'd sailed through what I believe you call stress tests, and boom, heart attack. Actually, that's quite typical of what happens. We know about 50% of people who suffer heart attacks have no preceding warning or symptoms of what we call angina, which is a symptom of chest discomfort that people experience normally when they do exercise or stress and is relieved by rest. That usually happens when the artery is at least 70% narrowed physiologically. But what people don't realize is that most people who suffer what we call cardiac events often don't have significant narrowings up to 70%. They may be 30 or 40% or even 20% narrowed in which case they're not going to get symptoms. But what happens is those underlying narrowings that may be minor suddenly block off with a clot because of inflammatory processes related to many things such as smoking, diet, stress. You know, all these things come together almost like an explosion. You describe it like an earthquake. It's absolutely right. There are three misconceptions about heart disease we have to deal with. The first misconception is that dietary fat causes narrowing or blockage of the artery. Dietary fat doesn't cause the narrowing, inflammation does. The second misconception is that the arterial narrowing itself is a problem. Well, in fact, the narrowing isn't what kills people. It's a sudden occlusion of that artery, the sudden blockage because of this angry deposit of cholesterol and inflammatory cells that suddenly get exposed to the blood causing a clot to form. The third misconception is that the reversal of the process that leads to heart attacks will take a long time. And that's incorrect. In fact, this can happen very rapidly. As you can see here, these are jagged edges on the inside of the artery, like an inflamed or angry narrowing. And what we need to do is we need to passivate, diffuse that anger. And you can diffuse it with dietary changes, smoking cessation, stress reduction, and doing the right type of exercise. This is 